Hey guys, this is JB3, and we are back with another episode of Project Reject, where we take the players that we sold off in the Morecambe FC Youth Edition to build a team that can rival them in the Premier League. So we are going to start off here with Brentford. We're at the end of the transfer window, one hour remaining and $12 million to spend, which means realistically we can probably bring in one more player to try and fill out this roster a little bit more. So we'll try and build up Brentford and see what we can do here as we move on. We'll have two games in this episode. We'll have our first one here against Doncaster at the beginning of September. And then we'll have another one right after that here against Bristol City. But we'll have to be aware of it as we need to be prepared. We have a short week against Millwall and we don't have a very deep roster. So let's get into this episode, see if we can add some players and see if we can get some wins here to move ourselves up the table here in the championship. So probably the best player that we can bring in at this point is the ultimate reject, Mateo Fuentes. He was the scout future star, but had no potential, unfortunately. So we sold him on and now we'll try and bring him back. He does have a release clause of $6.8 million. So that'll do in most of our budget to try and bring him in. But We'll see what we can do. We'll try and get a deal done with them. Should be easy as we only need to do the player contract. So let's see if we can get Mateo Fuentes into the club. So we'll get the contract negotiations underway. We'll we'll try for a rotation just so, you know, we can keep that down. And didn't think we were going to get it, but we tried. 74 overall, though, he should come in and start right away. So importance not a bad role for him. We'll see if we can skip through. We'll, we'll just go for a short little three-year contract. That should be fair enough. It is. We move on. We'll skip the release clause and get right to wages. And you know what? We'll probably he's on 13, and usually they want a little bit more than that. So we'll do 20,000 and 100,000 dollars signing bonus. Should be fair enough. Leaves us with 4.5. Uh, you know what, I'm just, we only have one hour. Let's be aggressive. Let's give a little bit more. We'll do 22 and 150. I want to make sure we get him into the team. We have a real thin roster, so we don't want to screw this up and lose him. So let's submit that, see what we can get done for him. And they come back 20. It's uh, a lot of money for him, but uh, let's counter. Let's just try and remove the the appearance bonus and save ourselves just a little bit of money and it's good enough we save a little bit and we get Mateo Fuentes into the team so we have our first scout report back from Spain and it's brought back a couple of really good players in Adaliberto Diaz 75 to 94 we have Vincent Galeno who's 75 to 94 looks to be a good goalkeeper but the big one is Roberto Hernandez 17 years old 55 to 73, 81 to 93 or 94 potential, $600,000 value. So we'll bring him into the youth academy. And we have our first scout report back from England. It hasn't brought back much, so we'll hold off for another month before we bring anyone in. So we have our youth academy here. Two players. We have our scout future star. Christian Baker, 15 years of age, center forward from the Netherlands. Looks to be a good little pacey player up front. Like already acceleration of 91, balance of 94. Looks to be a good player, 78 to 94. We'll have to see how he progresses as he's only 15. And then we have Roberto Hernandez, 62 overall, 81 to 94. Well, I think I'll, uh, we're, gonna, we're actually going to need him because... We're going to need him in with so many games this month, so we'll bring Roberto Hernandez right into the club from Spain. So we'll get into this game here against Doncaster, and this will be the lineup that we'll roll out with. It'll be a 4-4-1-1, so it'll be Mpeba, Dubois, Green, and Mitchell at the back in front of Pereira, and then Gomez, Henry, Fuentes, Atrampong across the middle, with Barrett and Tavares leading the attack up front. And we'll get this game underway. Oh, goes on the edge of the box. Fuentes can't break it up. Mitchell gets in front of it and knocks it away for a big defensive stop. Goes out for a corner. Green on the ball. Lays it up to Henry. Fights off and goes to Barrett. Barrett trying to get around the defenders and goes to Henry. Henry out wide. Moves it to Atchampong. Has a shot right on the goalkeeper. 
First offensive attack here for Brentford, and it's a good one, but it's knocked away out for a corner. Henry goes into Fuentes, off to Henry, top of the box, and tries to take a long shot, but can't get it down. Over the bar it goes. And that'll do it. We'll go into halftime. Not much to speak of so far. Both teams with a couple opportunities, but we go in nil all. Henry goes up to Fuentes on the ball. Fights off and goes wide to Gomez. Gomez now with a chance to create. Goes back to Henry. Henry drives on. Top of the box. Drives on and puts it on Pittman who knocks it away. A good shot there from Henry. But couldn't get the pass the keeper. Henry moves it right to Barrett. Barrett on the ball. Gets around. Moves it through to the middle of the box. Tavares takes the shot and goes wide. A good opportunity to find our first goal and couldn't get it in. Oh, Dubois can't get the turnover. Had it cleared, but they just break it up. And we'll go down 1-0 here in the 70th minute. We had a chance there to get it clear. Goes right through, and Dubois just, just kicks it right into his shins, and it wins the ball right back. And we're down 1-0. Henry up to Barrett. Barrett on the ball. Cuts back and turns, lays it there for Gomez. Gomez into the box now, has a shot right off the keeper and knocked away. Henry just trying to send it back before the goalkeeper can get there, but he recovers nicely and grabs the ball. Barrett has the ball, slips it through to Kerr. Kerr right on it, puts it past the keeper for the opening goal here with Brentford. And it's 1-1 here in the 89th minute, a big Big goal there for the team, and we possibly draw back a point away from Doncaster. We've had a good game, we've had good opportunities, and Barrett finds him. He gets on the ball and puts it right past the keeper for an opening goal, 1-0. Kerr moves it up to Barrett. One last build up here for Brentford. He drives on, tries to get it past and can't find Tavares. And it's turned over, and we go down, we draw again, another draw, 1-1. I think it's number five on the season since we took over, even though we, this is the first game we've ever played. We had eight shots, three on target, six shots, two on target here. Split possession, so, you know, a pretty even game, you think. Barrett with an 8.6, Tavares a 6.4, Henry a 6.6, Fuentes 6.3, Atrampong 6.6. Pereira 6.9, Mitchell 7.0, Green 7.7, Dubois 6.7, and Peba 7.3, Menez 6.5, Kerr a 7.8 with the one goal, and Gomez a 7.1, Tremblay 6.6, and that'll do it as we draw even 1-1. One, one. So we'll get into this game here against Bristol City. We're looking for a win. We've got to try and get off this. I mean, we're grabbing points. It's all good there, but... You know, it's going to be tough. We don't have a whole lot of depth here, but let's get into this game and see if we can grab our first victory as manager. And we'll get this game underway. They get wide. Bristol City's there, and Peva tries to break it up and takes him down. It'll be a free kick on the edge of the box and probably a card. It will be a yellow for Peva. And they'll line this one up here. Bristol City. Have a chance to open it up right into the box. Fuentes knocks it down and gets it out. Top of the box. Brownhill with the shot in Pereira. A big first save here and knocks it out for a corner. Corner here for Bristol City. They'll send it into the middle. Headed on in Pereira. Another big save. Pong fights off, cuts inside to Fuentes, moves it to Barrett. Barrett, if he's on sides, has a chance. Takes a strike and knocked away. No one there for the rebound. And that'll do it as Brentford all even here again. Nil all against Bristol City. Barrett slips it through right to Fuentes. He's a downhill here. Coming forward, slips it back to Barrett. Takes the shot right on the keeper. Fuentes right up to Barrett. Barrett moves it on to Gomez. He's in. Right on net. Takes the shot. Knocked away. In all oh, the deflection. Can't find the back of the net as they clear it off out for a throw in. 
Fuentes moves it here for Achimpong. Moves it on to Barry. Right in front. Oh, off the crossbar as he tries to turn and shoot. Fuentes gets the ball back, though. Moves it off to Tavares as he's taken down. Slips through. Oh, and it's right on the keeper in the offensive chances. Missed again for Brent, or Brentford. Henry pushes forward to Fuentes. Has the ball and carries it forward. Goes back into the middle here for Henry. Kicks on. Goes to Tavares. Pushes to Fuentes. He'll go to Atrampong. Right on net. Oh, can't beat the keeper. Again, knocked away. And Brentford miss another opportunity. Oh, Green gets beat. And they'll come forward. Bristol City. Green slows him down. Takes the shot. And Pereira, a big hand to it, knocks it away. Tavares brings it up here. Goes wide and goes to Mitchell. Mitchell on the ball. Trying to create. Goes down to Atrampong. Achimpong moves it into the middle of the box and no one can get on the end of it. And Peba on the ball. Shoots it long off to Gomez. Gomez behind the defense. Tries to get in. Gets around one slide. Tackle is into the box. Can't get it off and it's knocked away. Henry on the ball. Goes back to Fuentes. Right into Barry at the top. Can't find a shooting lane. Tries to turn his man and turns it over. And that'll do it. We go in with a nil-all draw. I mean, another one where you feel like we had the better of the opportunities. We had six shots, six on target. They had four and two, and we split possession. Fuentes a 7.9. Henry a 7.0. Gomez a 6.4. Barrett 7.2. Tavares 6.3. Pereira 7.2. Mitchell 7.6. Green 7.4. Dubois 7.1. And Peva 6.8. Aichampong 6.8. And that'll do it as we draw even with Bristol City. So guys, that'll do it for us here in this one. And six draws on the season is just an unbelievable number. I mean, I, I, you can tell that the team is close. We've had some good opportunities. We just got unlucky with the goalkeeping. I think they, they played outstanding. So I think if we can get a little bit more of an offensive attack, and the other thing is, I mean, we're playing with only 11 starters and three guys on the bench, four guys on the bench at this point. I mean, if we can get a little bit more depth so we can rotate some of these guys so we don't have to deal with fatigue, and if we can get one more player that can really put in goals and link up play, I mean, this team could be off to the races. We need to get promotion. That's the, the goal here set by us by the management. So we'll see what happens, but it'll be an exciting season. I want to thank you guys for checking it out. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest episodes are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.